All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about a survival knife or wilderness blade or field utility knife that is starting to warm up on me. And honestly, a knife that wasn't necessarily super, super like thrilled to get, but I did end up picking up this knife and this is the ZT0006. I'm not really sure how else to really say it. It's 0006, so I'm gonna call it the 0006. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting knife because it actually is cool and it is growing on me in a few different ways. So I thought I'd break this knife down and talk about some of its promise like for actual survival and wilderness use, why it's not just a wacky like version of the M9 bayonet. So for those who don't know, this is the ZT0006. It came out um, in 2023, like I want to say early 2023, and I was really hesitant to getting it because I was like, oh, it's just like a, a weird M9 spiritual successor to the like M9 bayonet of the US military. And so it wasn't really like high on my priority list, but I started to see some other outdoor reviewers take a look at this knife. And I was like, actually, you know, it could have some promise. It could be pretty cool. And so I did eventually end up getting one right before the end of the year. So I've had this guy for a little bit, but it is it's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna be doing more extensive field testing in the summer, but I think this thing honestly does have some good merit to it. So first off, um, I will say too, I also think that this thing genuinely like having owned one and have one in my hand honestly reminds me more of like a halo knife than anything like some of the UNSC um, would use as opposed to like a like modernized version of the M9 bayonet, but it definitely has some draws to that. And of course it is very bayonet-esque styled. Obviously you can't mount it on anything, but it does have the cross guard here for, you know, knife fighting and stuff like that, obviously as everyone does. But, um, I will say, unlike most traditional bayonets, this is it has a very shortened um, cross guard, so you can pretty easily bypass it. And still not my absolute favorite, but still something that you can definitely do. And it has jimping that you are designed to be able to get to. And so some of the merits are that, you know, the cross guard isn't as large as, um, it would be on something like a more traditional military styled knife. And so that is nice. It does have CPM 3V and I will say this knife is pretty darn sharp. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is definitely a laser beam when it comes to cutting through like textiles and then materials like that. It just absolutely glides through them. And part of that is due to this really high flat grind. And I think that's kind of what separates this as a really or one of the most promising things for this as a survival knife is that most of your, you know, hard use survival blades like a Cold Steel SRK um, and others, you know, have a flat grind, but the flat grind's a little bit more close to the actual bevel and edge. So you're having an overall thicker blade or thicker just knife as a whole. And so that is something that I really do like about this knife is that it's near full flat grind. It is still technically a flat grind, but it does a really good job at just slicing through things. And the thickness behind the edge, I have not measured, but it's, it has to be 20 degrees or less for sure. This thing, the way that it cuts and the way it performs is just an absolute slicer. And the thing that I like about this is while it is true that it is a slicey knife, it still is made out of CPM 3V, so you're getting good durability out of it. This is still a knife that you can absolutely beat the heck out of, and it's going to still keep carrying on. So those are some things that I do really like about it. And, you know, it has a decent blade size. It's, you know, I want to say like five and three quarters of an inch. It's, it's definitely a little bit longer than you would expect. And so once again, that lends its hand to being able to, you know, span good sized pieces of wood that you can use for kindling and process for fire making. And so that is another huge plus to it. I will say while this handle, another thing that I get is like, this handle looks so bland and so like weird. And it definitely is not wrong. This handle is very bland. It's very straight. Like there's no contour contouring to it at all. And that's part of why I think it looks like a, like a halo knife, like a UNSC blade. Cause it kind of handles like almost an afterthought. Cause it's just like a straight piece of wood. And so I will say it is contoured. It's not the most comfortable handle because there are, there's no palm swells. There's no contouring to it. It is pretty much just a flat flat blade, but it isn't bad. It's not a horrible blade by any stretch of the imagination. And once again, being that it's still an exposed full tang, this is a pretty, pretty decently sized um, tang here. It's around five thirty seconds of an inch thick. So you're dealing with a decent sized, you know, thickness on your blade that's going to be able to split apart pieces of wood well. Once again, because it's full tang, it's going to be far more durable than something like an M9 bayonet. So yeah, I think about the only thing I kind of am a little bit sad about is that it has this sharpening choil here. And the sharpening choil is almost large enough to be 
is something that you can choke up on, but not really. I do wish that you could, because if you could, that would add a little bit more usability to the blade, but unfortunately that is not the case. So this is really just a very large sharpening choil. It's not actually like a forward finger choil that you can choke up on, because you really can't use it. Like I can put my the tip of my index finger in there, but even still that's pretty risky. It's, it's pretty close to the cutting edge as a whole. So unfortunately that is a little bit of a bummer, but yeah, so overall, it's a pretty cool knife and I think far better than most people would anticipate for it being a like usable wilderness blade. Now I will say some things I do dislike about the blade. Of course, the crossbar you know, cross guard here, not, not a huge fan of that. But I will say one thing that I am genuinely pretty disappointed in is the Kydex sheath. Now this is a full Kydex sheath, but the thing that really like blows my mind when it comes to this knife is just how poor the retention is. And it's so weird because you do have this huge crossbar here or yeah, cross guard sorry and so you could easily make a kydex sheath that really clamps around that crossbar it'd be so easy and that's essentially what they did for the friction fit here but the friction isn't really adequate so this it's not necessarily that the knife will just like fall right out of the sheath because there's a good amount of like friction on the actual blade itself but like the problem is that there's really no like there's, there's no tension here. Like with most Kydex sheaths to show you like a good Kydex sheath here is a uh, survived GSO. And so like, like you guys can hear how positive that click is. That's a really good Kydex sheath, right? This is like, there's, there's really no like snap. Like there's no terminal point where you know that your knife is engaged with its sheath. So once again, won't necessarily just dump out, but is also not really great retention. I think it's something that other people have mentioned before, but I will say it's kind of a disappointment, especially because you have this cross guard here that's so large, so easy to mold Kydex to and just make it really like lock in on this guy. But they really didn't do that. So unfortunately, it's uh, a little bit of a disappointment there. But overall, as far as the ZT0006 goes, I'm gonna continue to field test it and really put it through its paces, but definitely looking forward to using this knife in survival applications because I do think it does have some good um, promise to it and uh, so far from how I've used it I think it's a pretty cool blade as it goes and once again, it's one of those that you look at it and you're like ah oh, that's that's just a piece of junk right it's never going to be that good and then you actually like use it and hold it and you're like oh that's actually pretty cool like, it's better than you'd expect it to be for sure anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and I'm out